Chilling new information tonight as an escaped convict accused of killing his prison administrator makes his first appearance in court on new charges. Good evening, everyone. I'm Katina Rank, and my co-anchor Richard has the night off. Curtis Watson escaped the West Tennessee State Penitentiary for five days before being caught late Sunday morning. Authorities say Watson strangled and sexually assaulted administrator Deborah Johnson, a mother and grandmother with 38 years of experience. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live at the Lauderdale County Justice Center. Brad, is the death penalty being considered here? Katina, it is. This afternoon, Lauderdale County prosecutors reiterated to me that the death penalty is on the table as this case moves forward. Today, inside the Lauderdale County Justice Center, Curtis Watson wasn't seen or heard, but a new affidavit shed new details on what authorities said happened before Watson took off from that prison about 15 miles from here. Curtis Watson began his day in the Tipton County Jail, but he's now in a maximum security TDOC prison after appearing by video in Lauderdale County Court this afternoon. This after the 44-year-old escaped from the West Tennessee State Penitentiary one week ago, leading authorities on a five-day search before they caught Watson Sunday morning 10 miles or so from the prison. As of today, he's returning to TDOC custody. In today's brief arraignment, Judge Janice Craig read Watson his four new charges including first-degree murder. In this modified affidavit, authorities said Watson sexually assaulted prison administrator Deborah Johnson and strangled her with a cord in the bedroom of her home on prison grounds. We have been in touch with the family. Uh, we will continue to be in touch with them and after that process. Lauderdale County District Attorney Mark Davidson expects Watson to be formally indicted by a grand jury in October. He's scheduled to appear in court again next month. He will be uh, evaluated by a mental health professional within TDOC uh, prior to the preliminary hearing. Now, Curtis Watson this afternoon was transferred to the Riverbend Max Security Institution. Watson was not eligible for bond since he's already serving a 15-year sentence tied to a 2013 conviction for especially aggravated kidnapping. I reached out to the assistant public defender this afternoon, but he declined comment after Watson's appearance. Reporting live at the Lauderdale County Justice Center, Brad Broders, Local 24 News. Brad